So hello guys, my name is Kauton and I'm going to take you on how to do a two-pick test. So a two-pick test is done on a dumpy level so as to check whether it's capable of showing us a true horizontal uh, reading. So it also tells us the measurement of level which is out uh, in, in contrast with the distance that you'll be testing on. So uh, when we are doing the two-pick test, you want to make sure that uh, the error that the machine is giving us is acceptable or are not acceptable. If it's not acceptable, then uh, we have to change the machine. So what you need to do when you are doing a two-pick test is mark out point A, in this case our A is here, and mark out point B. So your points A and point B should be 15 meters for this experiment, we do equidis it should be equidistance uh, from the setup station. So in this case, ours, uh, this is the ground. Our points were 15 meters from the center of the machine, which is our traffic level, 15 meters. So when, after me setting up the machine, you will get your staff or your target, then you set on A, then you do the same on B, then you take readings. So, readings, the readings will be here. So, ideally for doing this, uh, we're setting the machine equidistance from point A and point B, is so as to, the error will cancel out, uh, since it's, the same distance both direction which means if the collision error is getting down maybe this side uh, we are instead of uh, observing the horizontal we are observing a uh, slightly below we should have the same effect this out which means the, this side so the, which means the error will cancel out that's why we are putting the machine 50 meters both sides so which means whatever elevation that you will get elevation difference that you will get from this setup let's call it setup one uh, the elevation difference will be uh, the correct elevation difference. So from setup one, we observe that A, we got 1,5 uh, to 0, then B, 2,158. So you observe this in the field. So after doing this, you then take the machine again. Let me do it another diagram so that you can see what we mean. This is our point A again, this is our point B. This, remember, these are the same points that we used. So here now we have 30 meters, because it's 15 plus 15, you get 30 meters between these points. Then you move your machine to the side where A is and put it maybe 15 meters again away from A. Then you then observe again uh, point A and point B. Then take readings. Uh, the reason now we are doing this is that if there is an error which will be an angle, uh, maybe you are viewing downwards with our uh, instead of viewing the horizontal, you will find that the error as you go further, the error will increase. So we want to see how much error is there in the machine. So when we did our second setup, uh, we got. Uh, for A, we got 1,6, uh, 3, 1. Then for B, we got 2, 2,75. These are our readings. So this is how you do the two-peg test. Then from there, there is some calculations. After observing this, you take this information to the office and do the calculations. So let me run these ones. My board is too small. So we are saying uh, we got again a uh, one comma is our a we got one comma five two zero when we did this first setup then for b for this first setup we get two comma two one five eight so two comma one five eight already sorry there then when we set the second setup we got uh, for A, we got 1,631. Then for B, we got 2,275. 
This is uh, the reading that we got from the first setup and the second setup. So now what we need to do is find the difference between the uh, first setup A and B. That will be our elevation difference from point A and point B. So from there, uh, we calculate and we got 0, 0,638. Then we do the same for setup B. For setup for second setup, sorry. So for second setup, we got a negative 0, 0,644. So in a perfect world, if our machine was they didn't have a cooling machine error, we should we should be having an equal number here. That that's the number that we are getting right now on this machine, and this setup and this setup should be the same. But due to the cooling machine error, the error increases as the target goes further from the point. So from here, now we want to calculate the error within the measurement. So uh, the error that we will get, we say set setup one minus setup two. We are saying the, 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 the difference in elevation that we got in setup A minus the difference in elevation that we got in setup 2. We will get the, that's how we get the uh, error in reading that we are having in this case. So we are saying a negative 0, 0,638 minus, uh, open brackets, a negative 0, 0,644. So... When you paste that in your calculator, you can get you get zero comma zero one six meters. That's the error in uh, with our machine the thirty meters that we were testing on. Remember the difference between the point A and point B was thirty meters. So for every thirty meters, we are getting an error of zero comma zero one six meters. So depending on the work that you are doing, it might be acceptable, it might not be acceptable, depending on the work that you are doing. If it's acceptable, then you continue. You can continue, you ignore the error, or you can do the adjustment for the error every 30 meters. Then, after doing so, you may, might be asked to calculate what we call, let me wrap here, and leave this one, the 30 meters, so you might be asked to calculate the angle, the angle of coiling when you call a machine. So we are saying when you are setting the machine, this is our machine, whenever we are observing, this should be our horizontal, we should be seeing that horizontal. But in this case, our machine is out with a negative with a 0, 0,016. So which means our machine instead of seeing the you are observing maybe a little down there. So the angle between the true horizontal and the elevation, the, the one that we are seeing, uh, the collimation and uh, line that we are seeing is the collimation angle, which let's say is theta. So how do you calculate the collimation angle? Remember we are saying the area in here from there going downwards is 0, 0,016 so it's 0, 0,016 and the horizontal the horizontal line of a site is 90 degrees to the staff so which means here we have our 90 degrees and we have measured uh, from A to B so which means here we are having 30 meters that's our 30 here so our collimation area or angle, sorry, our angle of collimation, we will then use the uh, Chasho Tau rule. So it's tan, this will be our hypotenuse. So it's tan theta equals to opposite 0, 0,016 over, uh, over our uh, adjacent, which is 30 meters. This, remember these readings are in meters. If the other one is in minutes or centimeters, you have to change it so that you have the same unit. So from there, we say we have tan, have theta equals to arctan 
uh, 0,016 over 30. So that will be our angle of collimation. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe and like so that we can uh, make more videos like this. And feel free in the comment section to ask any questions. I know there are some questions that we might need to ask and to definitely ask.